Hello everyone! Today, I will talk about the water footprint. In our content, I will include the water. Secondly, is about the water footprint. And next is direct and indirect water use. And lastly, is about the component of water footprint. How far do you know about the water? Actually, 70% of Earth's surface covered in water. But how could we ever run out? In fact, only about 0.5% of the total water on Earth is readily available for humans. In this figure show that the salt water is about 97% while the fresh water is only 2.5%. 2.5% is fresh water that is frozen as polar ice or stored as a ground water. In this graph, tell us that in first phases on 1990, agriculture are the highest rather than municipal and industrial waste of water. But in 2005, municipal are the higher than industrial and agriculture of water use. Alright, next is show a graph which is the countries that are more dependent on others for water. As we can see, Kuwait is the highest country that are most dependent on water, which is 100% and followed by the Turkmenistan with the 97%. Why? Niger is the lower percent of country that dependent on water for only 89.72%. Did you know what is water footprint? Water footprint is anything that we are used, wear, buy, sell, and also eat. Water footprint also can describe by the measures the amount of water used to produce each of the goods and services we use. Now, we move to what footprint can help on you. Firstly, water footprint help on our limited fresh water resources are being consumed and polluted. Secondly, is cubic matrices per ton of production. Thirdly, measures per hectare of cropland. Next, is per unit of currency and in other functional units. And lastly, is impact it has depends on where the water is taken from and when. Water footprint can calculate any a group of consumer for single process or any product or services which is single person, family, industry and also a country. Here are the example of water footprint in the different type of food. For example, Burger use about 2,500 of water. So, if we multiply per year, it becomes 900,500 of water use. And how about we get a T? So, 90 multiply 365, it becomes 32,850. If we total this type of food, it's become 945,350. Wow, it's so much use of water. We also use other type of food in our daily life. So, do you can imagine how much we use the water footprint? Next, we move to the next topic, which is the direct and indirect water use. 
Water use is water consumption from all aspects throughout the production cycle from processing to end user. Water use have two types, which is direct water use and indirect water use. The definition of direct water is use water directly by the individual. For example, we use the water for a shower, brush your teeth, wash the car, and also for the drink. For the indirect water, bring the definition of use of water to generate a final product typically not associated with water. As example, water used in manufacturing metals and rubber to make a bus. Next is about reduce of direct water use. Actually, what we can do? Firstly, we can drop our use of tissue into the trash instead of flushing down to the toilet. It will save gallon each time. Secondly, run the dishwasher and closes washer only when full and it will save up to 1000 gallons a month. Next, we need to turn off the water while brushing our teeth. You know, it will save 25 gallons of water a month. And lastly, we can take a shower instead of but because a short shower only use 10 to 25 gallons only. Now, we move to reduce indirect water use. Actually, there are many ways that we can do, but this is quite often that we do. Number 1. Buy only the food that we can eat before it goes bad. Indirect water is needed to produce fruit, vegetable, grains, meat and also dairy. Number 2. Skip the meat in your meal one day a week. Depending on how far back you go in the production chain, a hamburger can use up to 1,300 gallons of water to produce. Number 3. We need to purchase clothes items made with synthetic materials. And last but not least, we can do a reduce, reuse and recycle is one of the best way. This figure show the component of water footprint. Blue is referred to the consumption of surface, water resources and groundwater throughout the production change of a particular product. This element refer to the volume of water used and evaporated or incorporated into a product. While for the green color refer to the consumption of water contained in plants and soil in the form of moisture without being part of any surface or body of ground water like rain water and lastly for the gray color refer to the pollution of water resources gray element is defined as the volume of fresh water needed to dilute the pollutant load produced by a particular processes and it will able to maintain a naturally uncharged concentration and water quality standard from its original this figure show that the water consumption and pollution consumption between the direct water footprint and also the indirect water so now we move to the summary as we know water cover the earth's surface about 70 percent kuwait is the country that most dependent on others for water Next, the definition of water footprint is measure the amount of water used to produce each of the goods and services we use. For water use, there are two types of water use, which are direct and indirect. 
direct is by the individual and indirect use water to generate a final product. Now, we go through about the way to reduce. Here are the four example way to reduce direct and indirect water use. So now, we go through the component of water footprint which is firstly, surface water resources and groundwater. Second, water contained in plants and soil. And lastly, pollution of water resources. Alright everyone, do you know about ISO 14046 and what relationship between water footprint and ISO 14046? Alright, stay tuned guys. See you to the next video and thank you.